if you're watching this, you're probably looking to set up a bike for your own bicycle touring and get out there. Um, this is four years worth of work, almost a dozen countries, 10,000 plus miles. It's been tweaked. You know, it's, it's pretty much where I need it, but do not wait, just go. I've seen guys on just crappy BMX bikes, uh, touring interior Iceland with milk crates and zip ties the uh, you know to their handlebars to carry their gear with their tires strapped around their backs and over their shoulders like bandoliers and just get out there and do it just go I'm Buffer and welcome to my YouTube channel Wheel Positive uh, today I'm going to be doing what is probably the most requested video I've had, and that is a tour of my Surly Ogre touring bike, bicycle touring setup. Can you say tour any more times? But before we get started, let's address the hat. I am two weeks out from a trip, a bicycle touring trip to Bolivia, where I will be riding five weeks in the Andes on the Alta Plano, the high plateau, never dipping below 12,000 feet. And in honor of that occasion, I'm wearing what I think is an alpaca hat. I actually don't remember where I got it. I feel like I got it in Ecuador 20 years ago. Anyway, silly hats are fun, so let's just keep moving. My bicycle, underneath here, all these bags, which I've added since, but I bought the bicycle, the Surly Ogre on Craigslist which here in the United States is a classified website, classified ads type website, most famous for um, sexual hookups. But believe it or not, they also have bargains. And I forget the website, but there was one that I was able to search the entire United States listing of Craigslist because they're all localized. And I was able to find a Surly Ogre about 200 miles away and $900. And at the time I didn't know exactly my, I didn't know anything about bicycle touring. And um, I knew I wanted a steel bike. I knew I liked Surly, I liked Salsa, and dumb luck in hindsight, I could not have chosen a better bike. I love this bike. I paid $900. Um, I've made a few upgrades, the racks, the bags, and everything else, but for the most part, the bike itself is exactly how I bought it. And this super, super stoked. I call the bike Agnes. I don't know why. Um, does everyone else name their bikes? I don't know. Well, anyway, Agnes is more than just a way to get from point A to point B to take me around the world. It's also carries my shelter, my food, my water, clothes, everything. This is my home when I'm out bicycle touring. My first upgrade was the wheel set. I had the entire wheels built, prowheelbuilder.com, on my website, agehigh.com. I have a complete detail. And what I did, I got the DT Swiss rims, and I got a new cog set in the back. New spokes, new tires, and the main thing was I wanted to run um, tubeless, so I got tubeless tires, the Schwabi All Motion Marathons. I believe that's it, Schwabi All Motion Marathons. Again, it's on the website, hi.com. I'll put a link in the description. And I use finish line tubeless fluid. It's great, it has particles in it. And over the course of 10,000 miles, uh, knock on something, I have never gotten one flat. I got a Schmidt Sun Dynamo hub installed. In here is a lithium ion battery. So the Schmidt Sun hub charges that battery and up top here, which I don't have plugged in right now, there is a USB port. So I can charge my phone, I can charge a GoPro, I can charge drone batteries, headphones. Um, it puts out a very consistent strong charge. I've never ran out of power since I've had this going. It's called the Sing Plus. I have an installation video on my channel. I have a 
more in-depth review of the same plug plus on my channel so if you're interested check it out i recommend it i'm at two and a half three years now and it's still going strong a ton of different weather conditions this bag this is going to strap through the handles on this and be secure but it's the ortley rack pack 31 it's actually a 20 liter bag completely waterproof uh, never, it's new to me, this, Bolivia's going to be the first time touring with it, but most likely it's going to hold my sleeping bag, food, things I want quick access to. This is going to be clothing and um, other gear, stoves, things that I'm not going to need quick access to. So, not exactly sure how it's going to be packed yet, but there will be, a, I will be doing a video on my packing. And if you're interested in what I'm going to take for a five-week bicycle touring trip in the high Andes of Bolivia, uh, subscribe to the channel, and that should be coming out very soon. So let's keep moving on to the bags. The first ride I did was um, Hanoi to Bangkok, and I didn't have tiny ears. I had Marta bike packing set up, and halfway through, I bought these side these side bags you know that you're supposed to wear on your shoulder and i just rigged them on there because it, it just i needed the space and as soon as i got back and before i did my next trip i went and got these portly panniers they're a classic they're a classic for a reason it's great if you saw how quickly it just came off um, at the end of the day the last thing you want to be doing is undoing straps and you just want you just want to get to get in your tent get in your room Whatever you're doing, you, you just don't want to fuss with anything like that. So I, I love the panniers. I'm certain I'm going to love the 20 liter bag. Moving over, we have this Surly frame pack. In here, this pocket, I carry my passport, vaccination card, tickets, any, anything of important documents goes in a little waterproof case, which I'll show you on another video. That goes in here. This side is where I store my iPad and so all my valuables are in this area. So I can grab the bag, I can grab the passport, go into the store, but you know, if I'm not gonna have a bike in sight, to be honest, uh, most places, 99% of the time, I do not worry about being robbed. Moving on, we have a Revelate Designs, another Surly product. This one is called the Gas Tank. And this is great, this is where I keep my tools. This is where I keep the money that I intend spending that day. So I don't keep a lot of money in here. The and in other hidden places. Here are the Surly Revelate Design feed bags. And these are great. I used to carry my glasses in here, but I think I'm gonna move that. It's uh, just things I'm using that day. Uh, Go, I keep a GoPro in there typically, but um, I have some new mounts. So we're gonna change this setup a little bit and it's gonna give me more storage space. So I'm happy to have that. I have two of them. Another new addition is the Surly Moloko handlebar bag, which fit the Surly Moloko handlebars. I haven't used it yet, but this is gonna give me much needed space. I think I'm gonna keep my glasses in here. I'll probably keep my fake wallet, which, um, which I'll explain in my next video. Here I have, these are salsa bags. I don't know what they're called. Um, I like them. They are, however, a bit of a pain in the ass to get on and off. So in these I keep, uh, in this one is typically my spare tire, my tubes. If the tubeless tires ever fail, I carry tubes as a backup. Again, haven't had to use that yet. And in this one is typically, it's a towel, it's a rain jacket. Although they're hard to take off, they, you can access them easy. I just don't like take them, taking them off in the evening to bring into a hotel room or you know wherever. So I, I never carry any valuables in these. I got this little, um, I can't remember where I got this from, this bracket that attaches to the underneath of my seat. And this is where I like to carry my water bottles, my main ones I use daily. 
I also have this water bottle bracket underneath. This one fits the larger one. It also fits a wine bottle. That's pretty much all the water I've needed. I might bring a bladder on this trip because I might be in multi-day situations in Bolivia without access to water. So I'm gonna work on that. The rear rack is the Surly rear rack and it's expensive. The Surly products are expensive. And after looking over everything, uh, I just went with it because I know it's gonna fit. I know it's quality. Um, and again, I've had this rack four years now. It's never let me down. Um, it's just it's just a quality product, which is why when I decided to purchase a new rack for this trip to Bolivia, I again, I searched everything and in the end, I decided with this early rack, just because of the experience with that, it's gonna fit, I know it's a quality product, and it matches the bike, and not that aesthetics are everything, but it is nice to have a look going, because as I mentioned before, I love my bike. So there's that, I'm probably gonna hold a tent up here, maybe a sleeping pad, maybe the sleeping pad that goes there, maybe the sleeping bag here, I'm not sure yet, but, we're gonna figure that out. I definitely have the space. And that's pretty much it for the upgrades. I re I did replace the bottom bracket with a surly bottom bracket, just uh, not knowing the history of the previous one. On my handlebars, I have $15 on Amazon, an iPhone holder, it's mounts right here. I use it for navigation, um, booking hotel rooms, uh, campsites, uh, just about anything you normally use your phone for. It's nice to have it right here. And this is a new addition. I have a GoPro mount, which I used to take a bendable mini tripod and wrap it around my handlebars. And it's good for getting those shots of, uh, you know, time warp shots of riding down a hill. Or I like to also point it towards the street and video take people that way. It's not as intrusive as you know sitting out there holding a camera up and I haven't used it yet but I can already tell I'm gonna like it if you haven't done any bicycle touring I promise you you're gonna love it it's the absolute best way to travel and yeah that's my bike well there you have it thanks for watching I'm sure I missed some things so just ask just leave a comment, ask a question, I'll be happy to answer it. And um, if you're interested, I'm gonna be covering this Bolivia trip from A to Z. We're gonna do my packing list next. We're gonna put the bike in a box. I'm gonna show you how I fly with a bicycle, how I'm gonna get to Bolivia. And then of course, we're gonna, we're gonna tour Bolivia. So if you're interested, please subscribe.